All right, and this one we're going to um, create the uh, cr create the correct seventh chord based on a Roman numeral. So let's try an easy one first with this five seven chord. So I'm in B minor. The first thing I'm going to do is write my leading tone so I don't forget about it. My leading tone is A sharp. Um, to start building it from a Roman numeral, first identify what the scale degree is. So scale degree 5 in B minor is F sharp. So I'm going to write F here, put my sharp next to it. We're still working with two pieces, the triad and the 7. So from my numeral, I can see that my triad has to be major because I have a capital five here. So I'm going to write F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Now, if you weren't sure how to spell an F sharp major chord, you could for a moment ignore the accidentals um, and write off to the side. I would start with F and write F, A, C. That would be an F major chord. And then I know I have to raise them all up by a semitone. So all of these all of a sudden get sharp. All right. Um, now I have to do my seventh right here. Um, so this is going to be a minor seven. So I'm going to take the inverse. Uh, to get a minor seven, I need a major second below my root. So F sharp below that is going to be some kind of E. Um, and I need to make sure that it's two half steps for a major second. So F sharp, F natural, E natural. Okay, so I'm going to write that E up top. I don't have to write a natural here. I could and it would be fine, no big deal. So right here I've created an F sharp major triad and I'm going to add my seven. So that's how I would label that. Let's try this one. This is a little trickier because we have an inversion involved right here. Let's build it first in root position. I'm in A minor. My leading tone is G sharp. Scale degree 7 in A minor is going to be G sharp. Remember, we always have to raise that so that we can get our leading tone. I have a fully diminished chord here, so I'm going to build a diminished triad right here um, on this G sharp. So I'm going to build it in minor thirds. G sharp to B is a minor third. B to D is a minor third. So I'm done with that. Up top, I'm just for my own sake going to label this G sharp diminished. There's my triad. To make a fully diminished seventh chord, I'm also going to need a diminished seventh. So if I think about this, the inverse is going to be an augmented second. So I need some kind of F below this G sharp and it should be three half steps apart. So G sharp down to G natural, F sharp, F natural. So that is um, three semitones and so my inverse then will be a diminished seven. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that F and stack it up there. Okay, um, so there's my seven. Now there's one piece that we still have to deal with, um, and it's the inversion. So 4-3 tells me that it is in second inversion. Okay, so I'm going to need to move both of these guys, the root and the third. Um, I can move those up, or I can bring the other two down. Um, I'm going to, just just for, just for space sake, I'm going to bring these down here. So um, I would write it with my D here and my F right here. Let me see if I can erase these others. So now those are gone. Kind of erasing my F a little bit. Let me put it back. So um, there's our F again. So I can double check that I've done the correct inversion if I look for the shape of the chord. Um, with a 4-3, a, a second inversion, I want that second to be in the middle. So this is done. I, I have the right notes. I have the right inversion. It's all finished. Um, let's go ahead and try just for, for one more practice this E, uh, this, this four chord in E major. So in E major, uh, 
I'm going to need my fourth scale degree, which is uh, A. So I'm going to do A. And remember, when we're spelling with accidentals, we do need the accidentals that are in the key signature. It was a little large. Here we go. So C sharp. Voila. So four. I built a major triad, just like it matches my numeral. I'm going to put my lead sheet symbol up here. Um, so I have an A major chord. Now I need my seventh. Um, there's nothing special here, so I'm just going to write a 7 in, in the key above this. Thinking in E major, I'm going to write a G sharp, which would make this a major 7. So I would have to adjust my lead sheet symbol to say M7. Okay. Um, remember, we put this G sharp in here because the G sharp exists in E major. Okay, so make sure you have your appropriate appropriate accidentals for these. Um, now the only thing left to do is the inversion. This is first inversion, so my root is going to have to move. Um, I'm going to move this up. So just off to the side here, I'll write a ledger line, put my A there, and then I'm going to erase my root. If I want to check this, I'm um, check my inversion. Again, I'm going to look for that second. In first inversion, I need to see that second on the top of the chord. 